Well, welcome back to the Fox Shop, everybody. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a product called Ospo, which I don't have the original jug that it came in, but I will pop a picture up right now. And I will also link that down below in the description. So if you're interested in getting some of this yourself, you can, I need to get more. I just have it in this, uh, in this spray bottle here. And we'll talk about that here in just a second, but but it would not be the fox shop if i didn't do a quick little weather update and right now i'm not sure what the temperature is i don't know if it's above zero or not it, it's darn cold out right now and it's snowing again don't know if the camera's picking it up or not but it's snowing again wind isn't blowing though so it's not too bad we're not supposed to get a whole lot but uh i'm i'm ready for some warmer weather and uh get this out of here but anyway getting back in the shop where it's nice and warm and basically what i want to talk about is this ospo which is a I believe they call it a rust inhibitor rust converter rust killer something like that real simple to use i for some reason i've had several people contact me um, through email well, email and messages asking about this stuff. I don't know. If they must be seeing it on another video or something. And so I thought I would make a little video about that and explain what it is, how I use it, and how it has worked. So this stuff is supposed to convert iron oxide, which is, is rust, into iron phosphate and take care of any corrosion issues you can't get out. Like on this door, it's got a lot of pitting in it here and also some stuff going on down in here i took a wire wheel to it took my sanding disc to it and this is about as good as i can get it so i'm going to treat this with ospo and the way you're supposed to use this is they say you know spray it on wait 24 hours and you're good to paint now i did use it before i used it i used it on this here truck i used a lot of it on that truck um, with the bed off and everything. I got the frame. I didn't take the cab off this truck, but I got the frame uh, I took a needle scaler to it, which is which is this guy right here. It's got a bunch of metal rods in it um, it, it runs off of air basically these rods just kind of they they move back and forth and Just they hit it pretty hard. You're gonna want to wear ear protection when you're using this thing I got this from Harbor Freight and it has held up great seemed to work really good i spent i spent several days on the frame of this truck getting all the oh it had a lot of surface rust and some scaling and stuff going on i've got some pictures over here i'll show you well the history on that truck i bought that truck brand new back in 1994. i have a video it's kind of a slideshow video with a lot a lot of these pictures are in that video going through the whole process just kind of put to music so I'll try to link that down below I am getting a reflection let me shut this light off I'll try to link that down below for you if you want to see that but that's what she looked like before if if you can see some of these pictures are a little bit dark but she was a little rusty crusty anyway go over uh, let's see I think like here's one one picture of the frame here that's pretty much what it looked like and yeah, there's another one and another one so it was did have a lot of surface rust on it and if you continue going through here uh, I got all kinds of stuff in here there's putting the patch panels on cab corners now well, here's more of the frame inside of the frame this is after I painted it I think this one here might be after I needle scaled it but uh, what I did here's after I needle scaled it that one right that one right there this one over here in fact all these are so anyway I spent several days doing that but I let the ospo sit on here I sprayed it down every night for about a week 
and then I sprayed it with three or four, at least three or four coats of heavy metal primer and three, four, five coats of Rust-Oleum Black Gloss. And that was back in 2013. I think it was 13, it might have been 14, I think it was 13, but you can see how well it's holding up and I'm not sure if this light is helping or hurting. I think it must, I'll try to hold it back a little bit, but it, uh, it's holding up quite well. Now granted, this truck does not, you know, it does not get out in the salt and stuff like it used to, but uh, it's really holding up quite well. So really, all you have to do to use this stuff, now I sanded this down pretty much down to bare metal here, because it was, it, it needed it. I wire, wire wheeled it, sanded it down as good as I could. There is one little spot right there. I'm actually not gonna mess with it. This up here is all covered up with the uh, the door panel. But all you have to do, I hope this spray bottle works. I haven't used it for a while. All you do with this, I'm gonna move my hose here. They say, I don't think it hurts rubber, rubber parts or anything like that. Because when I sprayed up under there, I just sprayed everything and everything seems to be fine. But uh, all you do, if you're picking up any bit of wind noise, it's, it, my heater's blowing kind of right down on here, but all you do to get this to work, you just spray this on here. And I put it on pretty heavy. And I've got kind of a stream going here. Hold on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Just coat this really, really well. All the bare metal. It doesn't smell the greatest, but it's not too bad. Um, wear goggles if you want to. Try not to get it on your hands. It will. It doesn't really burn you, but it does irritate. So just spray all the bare metal. You can get it on the paint. That's fine. And it's kind of good that it's sitting down, down in that groove. And if it goes up inside there like that, I'm fine with that. So that's pretty much it. You just spray it down like that. They say wait 24 hours and you're ready to paint. If there's any moisture left on here, which there probably will be if it's going to be sitting down in here, I'm supposed to wipe that off. Just make sure it's good and dry and should be good to go. But I will come back in tomorrow and show you how it changed from what it looks like now to what it will look like tomorrow. I am guessing it's going to look all black. Well, if there is iron oxide there, it's supposed to, it should turn it all black. But I did this on the green truck and just kept it soaked for a week, like I said. And and I've been nothing but impressed with it. I think it actually started getting used in the marine industry. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think so though. But uh, I have been really impressed with it. I've used it several times. Real simple to use and uh, I'll show you tomorrow what that door looks like. Okay, before I leave here, actually here is a cutout. I believe this actually came from right back here. And I found that over in my scrap pile there. Haven't done anything to this. And I'm just gonna spray some of this. I won't do the whole thing. Maybe I'll just do this, this half here. I'll just kind of spray it down just so you can see what it looks like tomorrow. That's good enough. And a uh, little demonstration. You can see it's kind of bubbling and stuff already. It starts to work right away. But like I said, I'll link this down below. You can get it from Amazon. I think it's $37 or something like that. There might be a shipping cost on that. I'm, I, I haven't bought it in a while but I need to get some more of it and I will be, but. But I'll show you what that looks like in 24 hours. So it's been about 24 hours. And looking at the door, I, I don't think it looks a whole lot different. I don't think, I can't remember exactly what it looked like without looking at, at the footage on the camera, but um, this may have turned a little bit blacker, this down here, same way. I thought maybe this was still bed liner. So I did try scraping on it with a screwdriver just a little bit ago. And uh, it doesn't appear to be but you can tell it still has still a little bit uh, damp and that stuff's a little bit sticky but just 
you come in here and just wipe it off as good as you can. And then what I would do, you can either just let it completely, completely dry, or I'm not going to continue doing all of this right now. Um, completely dry. So anyway, you can just let it completely dry or wipe it off. Uh, a lot of this stuff, you can tell it where it kind of bubbled in here. Actually doesn't, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe, hold on a second, I'm going to get a little screwdriver. This paint here has got little bubbles in it. That might be from using that paint remover stuff. Yeah, it will kind of scrape off. So I probably have, I've probably got a little scraping to do on this yet. Either with a putty knife or come in here with a sanding disc or just some sandpaper and try to get all these. I don't know if the camera may not even be picking them up, but I think it's where the paint has kind of bubbled up from that paint remover when I took the bed liner off. So I need to get rid of that somehow. But other than that, um, that's what Osfo does. You can tell a little bit more on this piece of stuff where I sprayed this half over here with the Osfo and this side was left alone. And it's not just because it's a little bit damp. It, uh, that's what it does. It turns, it turns it black. Well, blacker anyway, but in places it'll turn it black and like in those pictures when i did my truck frame that's kind of what it ended up looking like but you need to make sure it's completely dry before you do anything else and this was all dirty to begin with i didn't clean it off or anything but it does change it, it does something it changes the rust like i said it's supposed to change it from iron oxide to iron phosphate and they say wait 24 hours and it's good to paint but like i said i, I do a little more than that but I really like it and I will continue to use it on products. Uh, name of the, the product is Osfo. I'll link it down below in the description if, uh, if you're interested in picking that up yourself. But like I said on my truck frame, that's what I use and then just Rust-Oleum paint. And it really is holding up remarkably well. Anyway, as far as Osfo is concerned, I love the stuff. I will continue to use it. Like I said, I'll link it down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Comments go down below. Hit that subscribe button with that little notification bell. That way you always know when I upload a video. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.